What's up, YouTube Loop Troop? I'm Loopy Fist, and some people in my chat was telling me they were having some trouble with the EX Venusaur battle or any of the battles in the expert solo battles in Pokemon Pocket. So I decided that I can probably give him a hand. So right now, this deck is definitely tough to beat. I actually mentioned this in the video about solo battles that these can get kind of tough. I'm going to show people how to beat the expert ones because they're the hardest ones. The other ones are you can kind of go in the same kind of um, form and fashion. Um, but they got some pretty decent cars. Some cars you won't have like Sabrina and you know, they got Erica and when Venusaur is when he gets up there, you're kind of hard. It's going to be kind of hard to like, you know, win with it. So the best thing to do with this is to go aggressive and beat it as fast as you can. That sounds really weird, but you know what I'm talking about? So that's why I have this Venusaur killer blame deck which we actually used in the, um, I, I was doing a little demonstration today on the beginner one, but this deck works out really well. Um, let's, let's, let's show you real quick. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. So the thing you wanna do is you want to try and beat these, these decks as fast as you can for the first victory. Cause I know you guys are gonna wanna get those, those hourglasses. So we got Ponyta, we also got a Blaine. So that's kind of good. Ponyta is um, one of the Pokemon that can go and attack with only one bit of energy. Good thing is that we're going against a flame, I mean, a, a grass type deck. So you wanna be able to beat this as fast as possible. So, Let's see, we got nine tails, not really what I want, but we do have a Pokeball. It's still not gonna give us what we want. Maybe we'll get a, um, a Vulpix. Yep, so we got our Vulpix, so great. Let's go ahead and drop Vulpix down. That's really the powerhouse of the deck. We're still gonna go ahead and start hitting this thing um, as fast as we can. Now, Blaine can only give a buff to Rapidash and to Ninetales in this deck. We do not have Magmar in this deck. Um, and you won't be able to win every single time you go against these decks. That's just kind of the way it goes. Hopefully he didn't get an executor. If he did, then it could be bad. He got an executor, that sucks. So we have to hope that we can somehow make it. If we can't, then, it, okay. So we actually survive um, just a little bit. If we get Rapidash next turn, we can kind of, okay, we got another Ponyta. Let's go ahead and lay that down. I'm gonna put my next point onto Vulpix. And I'm also going to evolve it. So this is what I am gonna do. Let's see. We are going to get out. Well, no, we'll stay in. We're gonna stay in. We only wanna win this. Our whole goal is just to win. We just gotta survive and win. So. Let's go ahead and end our turn. We'll save. We know we can, well, we can attack. There's no reason to, no reason not to. We'll go ahead and attack. We're going to die. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes you die in this game. Okay. He has another executory X. This guy has the pulls of a God. He also has Erica, which is not good, but we have nine tails. Okay, so that's a good thing. He, he He's not rolling out. He's still going to kill us. It doesn't matter. It's a good thing, typically, but right now, a good thing can even, you know, a bad thing can even beat us. It doesn't really matter. All right, so he got the first one. That's fine. We got nine tails now. And nine tails is going to be able to kill this executor. Oh, now we get rapid dash, of course. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. And well, let me see how much damage we do. We're gonna deal an extra 20, so we deal 110, but with Blaine, we'll be able to kill this executor. So let's go ahead and do that. Because he hasn't put any points on Kangaskhan yet. Kangaskhan needs three points to survive, right? And executor is worth two points. So we just got two points, right? So we've got to kill one more of these things. This cannot kill us unless he uses Giovanni and he gets a double heads. Lots of good RNG on his, his plate if he wants to do that. Okay, he got a Pokeball. So he's pulling something else out. I don't know what it is, probably a Bulbasaur. He does, okay, so great. We don't really care though. Cause anything he puts, okay, this is great. Anything he puts out right now, we, we, we're gonna win. We're gonna win. This deck is extremely aggressive, like I said. So we have Sabrina, perfect, right? I can heal myself just because why not? We can BM him a little bit. It's a computer, who cares, right? Who cares about BMing a goddamn computer? 
All right, we got another Vulpix. Don't care. We're going to Sabrina. And he's going to probably put in this Kangaskhan. He didn't put in Kangaskhan. He's going to die. Got to put the got to put the uh, the energy on first, Loopy. All right, he's going to die now and he's done. That's it. Simple and easy is that um you just have to play with a deck that's very aggressive and you can win that very quickly. Super quickly, as a matter of fact. I don't think this video was even... <laughs> it's probably not even five minutes. But there we go. Beating the solo mission with the fire deck. Now, a lot of you guys probably do not have this these components for this deck, right? This is a budget deck, believe it or not. But you're probably not going to have the components for it. And I can show you a few things you can go with um, if you don't. Let's show real quick. Let's go to the decks, to the cards that is. I'm definitely gonna recommend that you don't try to go for the challenge of beating it with a water deck. You're gonna wanna go with any of the flat fire Pokemon that you possibly can. Maybe you have um, some Flareon, probably not something very good. If you have Ponyta or anything like that, you can hope they get some bad pulls cause you're gonna be dealing the extra 20 damage, right? So you really need to focus on being effective and playing something that is gonna be hitting them quick. Really, Ponyta and Ninetales are the best thing to really throw into a deck and try to beat it with, especially Ninetales and Vulpix, um, just because they're very easy to, um, to ramp up with. You only need two points and you're dealing tons of damage. And they're gonna probably be putting out a lot of EX. If they go for the Bulbasaur first, then you can try to kill it before they get into Venusaur. If they go into the Kangaskhan, then you can kill that with Ninetales in two hits. Um, you can kill it in one hit if you have Blaine or you have Giovanni. Um, if they have the the Executor out, just like I did, you can kill that in about two hits with a with a um, Nine Tails as well. And the cool thing about that is that those decks run a lot of EX uh, Pokemon. So every time you kill one, that's two points. So you only got to kill two Pokemon for the most part. So keep that in mind, and you guys should be able to beat that Venusaur Expert Solo Battle fairly easily. Um, and you can actually keep going through and continuing to beat it. And like now you right now you see that I've, I've done every challenge now. I just, I just finished one, but, um, but yeah, you have to deal so much damage. You have to do, um, you have to win the battle with a deck using only fighting type Pokemon. It's, it's not that hard once you start to get some more cars, but initially you're only going for the first time victory. So that's all you really have to do. And that's really it. So if you're having a struggle, having a little hard time, that's what I would suggest you go for doing. All right, and saying that, if you like more, if you want more content like this, do me a favor, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. We need more Pokemon Pocketeers, please. Uh, the Loop Troop wants you. So go ahead and join. Uh, without further ado, should have another video up here, maybe some, some, some a button to subscribe, all that jazz. Catch you in the next one. Peace.